It's just another boring day at school for Simon, except for the large, hairy monster stamping down the street outside. Can Simon save the day? The monster is coming! Ah! <laughs> Story by Paul Simpton and Salter Walker It was Monday morning and the village children were at school. Simon was looking directly out the window. Suddenly, Simon heard a shot. Run! Hide! And the children look at the window. And people running away. Woman ran into the school. Run! Hide! There's a monster in the village. It's gonna crush us in our home. Don't be silly, said the teacher. And they heard the booming sound of the giant footstep. A huge monster, as tall as a tree, stamped past their school. We should hide in the village hall, said the teacher. Line up in the school playground. And the playground was full of people. Somehow, Simon lost the teacher. Simon was afraid, but he wanted to see what was going on. It's not often you see monster in your village. The monster was going towards the village square. Simon followed it. The monster was sitting in the middle of the square. It was still roaring loudly. <laughs> The villagers were half afraid, but half angry too. What does this monster think it is? Say one angry man. We should chase it away. And they pick up a long load. One, two, three, charge! The villagers charge it, and the monster get even louder and lower. Ah! The roar was so loud, it blew them over. Hmm, he might want something to eat. Said the village backer. He filled the top with bread and cakes. A few villagers took the top to the monster, and then they ran quickly. The monster picked up some cake and start to eat. Then it start roaring again. <laughs> the monster might be too cold, said an old man. So the villager made a fire. It will be warm now, said the old man. The monster roared again. <laughs> the roar was so loud it blew out the fire out. What now? asked the villager. Nobody know what to do. The Simon had an idea. He picked up a stick and ran into the square. Come back! A man shouted. Stop him! shouted an old woman. It was too late. Simon ran toward the monster. Simon used the stick to draw a picture on the dusty ground. It was a picture of a boy and the monster just looked at him. First Simon pointed to the boy. And then he pointed to himself. He said his name loudly. Simon! Next, Simon drew a much bigger picture on the ground. It was a picture of the monster. Simon pointed to the picture and then to the monster. At last, the monster spoke. Bleah! Said the monster. Simon smiled and nodded because he understood its name was Block. Suddenly, the monster picked up a big lock. It drew a picture of a monster but this one was even bigger it was huge the monster pointed at the picture sadly and then it began to roar even louder <coughs> all at once simon understood the monster was roaring because it wanted someone of course it's not angry it's lost but what should we do as one villager we should get it to roar even louder, and then another monster might hear it. How can we do that? asked another villager. Simon stood close to the monster, and Simon roared and roared as loudly as he could. And the monster looked puzzled, and then it began to roar. It roared so loudly, and the hats blew off the village, and more loudly still. And so the curtain blew off the houses. Suddenly, there was a boom in the distance. Boom, boom. The ground shook, and there was another louder boom. Something was coming, and it was big. A giant monster stepped into the village. The small monster looked up and started to laugh, and the giant monster picked up the small monster with one huge hand. And then the giant monster bent down and started to draw it through a smile. On the picture of the big monster. Simon understood the monster had found its child. It looked up the little monster and smiled, and the two monsters stamped off towards the mountain. Bum, 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 bum.